Hello everyone, Val here and welcome to Theme Hospital. I actually mucked up the first voice recording, because I had to muck about with the uh, video settings. I was hoping to do a live commentary on this, but yeah, I will try to do it next time, because it seems that there might be some issues still with this. Yeah, there, uh, the uh, background video isn't going to be the most best synced. You will uh, like in this screen right here. I will. I stop to explain a lot of different shit. Okay, so anyway, Theme Hospital. A very good old game. I actually played it and finished it once in my life. Actually, once. It was good. Uh, how long it was again? Two. Um. Two, three years ago, possibly. Yeah, two or three years. Yeah, two or three years. And that was a lot. Of, that was <laughs> that was a very long time. Anyway, theme hospital. I actually went through a lot of pain trying to get this damn thing working. Because first, I need to uh, record it using the uh, DOSBox internal recording system, which doesn't run well with Fraps. In fact, it doesn't run at all. Fraps dislikes this DOSBox program for some unknown bloody reason. <coughs> yeah, so I... <coughs> went and uh, recorded it, then I recorded me recorded playing it on a different player with Fraps. Yeah. I bet there was a very obvious and simple solution to this problem, but I... I'm a total moron, I didn't even try to figure that out myself. Anyway, <coughs> sorry about that. Okay, Theme Hospital, this is the first level of it. At this point I noticed that the voice, the music, is not what I wanted it to be. This is the uh, sound plaster, the sound plaster emulation. I was hoping it would be Apple it Mini, MIDI because MIDI has the best sound. It, it is the best tracks ever, because it's a MIDI sound. It is awesome. But anyway, I started laying down benches for the reception area. And other stuff. Some vending machines here and there. The reception desk. Yeah. And where did I... You know, put it yeah, that fire sticks are going to come and paint, bite me in the ass at one point because I misplaced it in a very bad place. And I was too lazy to try to move it. Now place some radiators around the, the plants. I left one radiator unused. Best idea. And I also disabled autosave because it has the tendency to lag the game. And some more benches. That's a very clean reception area, don't you think? And here, I think I <laughs> explained something. And started with the general practitioner's office. Door, a few windows, then the desk, then the filing cabinet, and then the chair. Then add some more stuff. 
fire extinguisher, radiator, plants, and a bin. Hey, people dislike cold hospitals. Every time I hear that music, I want to hum. I don't know. Uh, was that the uh, general diagnosis? Yes, it was. You know how hard it is to try to read a preview screen on Vegas with a very low resolution game? Although well, this is the high risk graphics. It is slightly problematic. And yeah, the shrinks office. A few windows, only one. Move the couch there, in the corner, and the comfy chair. Bookcases, and one skeleton there. Bin, plant, radiator, fire extinguisher. Yeah, one more radiator. I want to be evenly heated. Because people seem to nag, <laughs> nag from cold about in this game. Nag about cold in this game quite a lot. As a matter of fact, now I noticed that <laughs> hospital is closed and opening, I didn't have a reception, so I hastily just put one there. And as in a real hospital, <laughs> there will be announcements. And then I tried to find a shrink doctor, there's one, and I put it there. And then I hired a second one. The general practitioner is over there. I think they'll look his attributes. Two handymen to uh, keep the place clean and deal with the plants. And then, what did I do next? I furnished. Oh, okay. Although it was very recently, I already don't remember it. <laughs> I'm like the demo man. Thankfully, I already don't remember this. <laughs> That's me. I really don't remember anything. So chairs there, and then two. Was it two or four? No, oh, there's only two. Third one I placed over there. Da 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 da. Ward. Use very necessary in every hospital. Then I purchased some extra beds and stuff. And then at one point I think I realized the ward wasn't big enough. And I tried to add one more extra bed. Radiator or bed? I think it was both. Yeah. Two more beds, and now I realized that it wasn't big enough. So I resized it all up. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. In my opinion, at least at that point. Radiate over there, put the potted plant there, and bin right like that. The best idea. And also need a nurse to occupy the uh, ward. Doctor required in GP's office. Doctor required in general diagnosis. And the receptionist is already announcing who is needed and where. And the docs are moving there as fast as possible. Pharmacy. Beep. And these little uh, notice things will keep popping out. That is information about a new condition. Bloody head. <laughs> yeah. This game has 
wide variety of very funny illnesses. It's a theme hospital. It's a theme game. It's supposed to be a bit nuts, especially if it's made by Bullfrog. <laughs> Bullfrog was the uh, greatest developer when it came to these theme style games. They kind of, in my opinion, they kind of launched the uh, little bit varied. How should I explain this? I think Bullfrog was the uh, main cause. This kind of <laughs> little bit kind of funny and totally nuts varied the little sim game started to pop up. Theme Hospital is a prime example of that. Here I decided to <laughs> voice act the uh, new condition. Heaped piles. Symptoms. Patient feels like he or she is sitting on a bag of marbles. <laughs> yeah. Place some benches here and there. <laughs> that one guy was in the way. Then I added a few radiators here and there. One there and put one there. Then these VIPs. These VIPs will give you a, some amount of money, but not much. At the time it was a guy called King Bernard from the Netherlands. Uncommon cold, symptoms, runny nose, sneezing, and discolored lungs. <sighs> discolored lungs. Wow, that's. Uh, That's very interesting, to be totally honest. Although it sounds pretty damn horrible. And this is one of those decision things. As a 55% chance we already know the cure for this disease, which is invisibility. But we still need to figure out what type of invisibility the guy has. At that time it was only 55%, I didn't want to risk that, then I that I ramped up the heat of I ramped up the heating. So at least it will be somewhat warm in the hospital. Plants I moved that one plant. Too bad there isn't a pickup item option. There's only that modify room or modify stuff. Not another uh, decision. This time I could have just taken it because it was 79% chance that it was the uh, correct type of invisibility I managed to cure. But I didn't. And now the VIP is visiting. Watch something when look at the salary options. <laughs> and then I hired a new nurse there. And the second psychiatrist. Now I have three doctors. And I believe it was two nurses. And then I realized I didn't have a staff room. And now at that point I noticed the uh, fire extinguisher was in the way, so I <laughs> moved that over there. And add some furniture into the uh, staff room. Pool table, yes, you can add a pool table and a TV. Fire extinguisher, of course, when it's needed to be fire. Radiators and a plant. And that's it. And then I realized I need the toilet somewhere. Was it? No, it was very close. I just decided to put some drinks machines here. And there. Was it now that I realized there wasn't that toilet? Yes, it was. I put it in the uh, smallest corner possible without even thinking. In this game, you need to be very, very careful with space. Like in any other kind of simulation design sim. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just talking into a microphone. I'm not really giving it down, actually. So I already mucked up the first audio recording, which was, in my opinion, the 
Well, it wasn't the best, but it was the first. It wasn't the best, but it was the first. Jesus Christ, the YouTube comments will go nuts! It wasn't the best, but it was the first! First! I was first over here! No one gives a fuck. To be totally honest. Right. What else did I need? Nothing. I think it was all of them. Yes, it was. Then I am ramped up the speed. So this level would be done faster. Which I think it will be. There's... yeah. King Bernard said it was a well-run hospital. Would be... 1200. Hm. What a cheap bastard, to be totally honest. Now there's some dirt from the ground over there, so I hired an additional handyman to do his job. Now seems like a bit of a workaholic. Now most of this stuff is in the staff room, relaxing. There's a few guys taking a shit. Well, the music is still pretty decent, although I didn't pick the right emulator for it. Or the right sound card option. New illness. TV personalities. Cause daytime television. Symptoms. A delusion of... Able to host the cooking show. <laughs> yeah. And now I got promoted. And unfortunately now, right now I realized that I didn't pick the right name. This can actually... Uh, uh, records the progress using nicknames. If you don't have the right nickname, then it just randomly generates a name. Uh, which is going to be a real pain in the ass. Because I don't remember the name. Maybe I should write that down, Horza. Horza! It's one of the biggest horses ever. There's a hand horse named Alice. <laughs> anyway. Let's write that down so I remember it. Anyway. Right now I believe I voice acted the message. Anyway. I don't really give a toss. I believe I... In about a few seconds I just pressed play and continued. Uh, right now. Yay! And now I believe there will be one more... No, let's just cut it here. I can just make a cut here. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. And tell me if you want to see more of this. Do at least make a bloody comment, you lazy bastards.